Hello boys and girls, I'm Greg and I'm here today to do a review of the Speedco Fieldmaster Post Hole Auger. I'd like to give a shout out to Matthew uh, out at David Green's Trailer and Equipment in Sneedville, Tennessee. He's the one that hooked me up with this. So here we go. So this is the unit mounted and ready to go. And as you can see, I've already been boring some holes this morning. I probably did, um, I guess that's 12 or 15 holes, probably in less than an hour, where I hand dug all those. So it's kind of a no brainer. So when you get this unit, it basically comes as uh, three or four pieces. You have the boom arm here Then you have this a-frame section here that lifts the boom Here's your drive shaft um, And then you can attach your auger. You can get the augers in 6 inch, 9 inch, or 12 inch. I opted for the 9 inch for the 4x4 four four posts You also have the uh, The drive gear up here. Uh, this gets mounted with this pin uh, assembly is pretty simple really uh, my wife was out here last night and she gave me a hand and and things went pretty smoothly um, Matt out at uh, David Green assured me that this would fit on my uh, Kubota BX 2200 this was brand new in the year 2000 a subcompact utility um, so everything went without a hitch. The only issue that we had was this U-shaped tongue slips down in here and that pin goes through. Because you can see that tongue looks a little bit bent. And it is because I had to take a vise and crank it in some so it would fit in there. So I would say that if I had a complaint, that would be the only one. And I'm not a very mechanically inclined guy and I was able to make it happen. So I'm sure any of you can do it as well. So here's a quick run through on the assembly of the uh, post hole auger. Uh, the first thing you do is you take this boom arm here, um, like we talked about earlier, you slide this in uh, here and run the pin through um, then from there they want you to attach this piece um, comes with this pin you slide it through um, and, and, and put this back on here to secure it in place um, this all comes unassembled uh, this comes with the unit you um, just run these through, put the lock washer on the bolt. Uh, pretty basic stuff if you have a, a tractor like this. From there, um, you mount this is the drive gear for the auger. You mount this, um, you it'll come with a cotter pin or this this large pin in here with the cotter pins already bent. So you have to slide one of those out. This is where it's good to have an extra set of hands to hold this up while you put this pin through because this unit is kind of heavy. So from there, um, they want you to install the drive shaft and they want you to put it on, they want you to attach it to the auger first, okay? And again, this is good to have a set of hands because it's kind of hard to see down in here, but if you look through, you can see this bolt. The idea is to get that hole through here so you can slide that bolt in from the top and then put the nut on it. Uh, maybe we can get a better view from up in here. Again, here's that bolt. The idea is that this is turned up through that hole so you can slide that bolt down through there. So hopefully that, that makes sense. Um, from there, you attach the uh, drive shaft to the power takeoff and that's like a spring-loaded sleeve you pull it back um, and you kind of you feel your way onto it and then once you have it in there right you release it and it just couples on there um, 
then of course from there you can attach uh, your auger again it's the same kind of deal as attaching the drive shaft to the um, the, the gear unit itself you can see that bolt through that hole there so you have to uh, get get the positioning just right and slide the bolt through this hole or in this case you can see it from this side and this is the top one and you can see in the background here this is the top hole and then this this bolt is for the bottom hole and you can see it here so it takes a little bit of uh, tweaking to get those lined up so you can slide the bolt holes through or the bolts through there once you do that it's just a bolt I think that's like a half inch uh, you put a the lock washer comes with it and you put the bolt on there um, so now you have everything attached the only other thing that you'll need to know is this auger comes without uh, gear oil I think the manual calls for an EB 90 weight gear oil which I picked up at Tractor Supply um, that goes in here you simply take this plug off and they want you to fill it up to this plug if I understood the instructions correctly um, I tried to remove this just so I could see that that it was going to fill uh, right but this was on here pretty good so I opted not to do that but we ended up buying I think it was a 32 ounce uh, bottle and then they call for 25 ounces so you can also do it by the gauge on the bottle um, this here um, is kind of handy I think it would probably be better as like a beer holder but um, it attaches here for your handy dandy instructions and probably whatever else you want to put in there so um, anyway that's the basic uh, the basic assembly it, it, it probably took um, I would say from start to finish it would take you probably probably less than an hour from start to finish so um, I've used it to bore some holes and uh, I'm very happy with it so far it's a fantastic unit thanks for watching